guys, we're live. Welcome. I am Trixie, a Trixie, aka the Thoughtful Beast. I am here today with my good friend Reese. And Reese, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Trixie's friend Reese. Um, I'm 31 years old. I just started yoga last year, and as well as kickboxing, I started getting into fitness last year. So it's very, um, it's been very fun, very interesting journey back i remembered That's to come it. back sorry it's okay <laughs> i almost forgot i almost literally started talking and i was like wait 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 i did this the other day with someone and i was like oh my bad sorry <laughs> um yes. in the middle reese is here with me um hello. hello so uh like he said like we're friends i've known reese for like a very very long time since the sixth grade <laughs> since the Possibly. sixth grade and i yeah. remember that you um we had to play chess, chess. and mr gavir's and mm -hmm. you were really good at it and i was not and i was like <laughs> it's not really good. <laughs> well you're better than me okay well, like, i understood the rules better <laughs> I guess what I'm saying, I was bad at chess, and then I played Reese and realized <laughs> I was real bad at chess. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. So it's just still time to learn. Yes. I mean, very, it's you, a very ancient you, game. You still play chess? Do you play chess no. right now? No? no. I mean, neither do I. I have not wondering. played in a while. I... Was, I can't... No, I do not think the last time I played was sixth grade. But it's like it's been years. I don't think I've played it as an adult. I distinctly remember playing it at Chris's house this like one day because I just brought out my chess set. <laughs> like I was it was around the time when we were going to the beach a lot. So I was like, oh, we could play chess at the beach. And I don't know, we just never really did that. <laughs> we did play a lot of chess that one day. <laughs> Didn't. <laughs> Didn't do it. Sorry, I like super setting up stuff on the side. But yes. Okay. okay. <clears throat> so my friend here, friend Reese here, is here to talk about yoga. And like he said, he kind of just started this year. So why don't you tell us a little bit, Reese, about how you got started into yoga? Okay, so last year I started doing kickboxing. And that led me into yoga because um, I'll, I go hiking with my friend. And she was telling me all about the benefits of stretching <laughs> and how good it is. I was just like, I did not really believe her. I didn't take... I haven't really taken fitness very seriously. So when she taught me how to stretch, I was just like, oh, this actually feels pretty good. And then she offered to teach me yoga, just like, you know, just try it out. Mm -hmm. And um, this was around a time where she had some kind of back injury. So she was trying to do, she was trying to help, she was trying to encourage herself to do more yoga. So if I was there with her, then she would do it as well. Mm. Um, so we started doing a little bit of yoga at her place because she had a kickboxing <laughs> So uh, one of her roommates had like um, a standing uh, punching bag. So nice. I was actually able to go there and like do kickboxing. And then she would teach me a little bit of yoga. And we were doing that for a couple months back in like, I think, I want to say April or May. Mm -hmm. And then she got me to do a yoga class, like actually do a yoga class. And the first time I did that was in June. I remember... Wait, what what kind of yoga like normal yoga or like hot yoga um, no not hot yoga what is this called um yin I I, yin hatha. i don't know the, this, i don't yeah it's that sounds right hatha <laughs> yoga yeah that sounds correct <laughs> you did flows yeah yes flows yeah, yeah, There's a lot of flows, flows. um mm -hmm. the first time i did it i was very very sweaty <laughs> it was so Fair. intense like i Fair. just like were like just holding poses and like i'm just sweating my butt off just like i feel like i wasn't doing much but it was very very hard because those are muscles are not used to activating no or like using at all <laughs> yeah um hey adrian what up adrian says hi hey adrian um yeah i actually made this like warm-up stretch warm up stretch thing for joey in the mornings mm -hmm. and some of it has yoga like i make him do downward dog um yes, and like first like he does downward dog with like his you know like 
he doesn't do yoga. So with like his knees bent and stuff and I have him paddle through, like where he paddling through is like when you straighten one leg mm -hmm. and bend the other and you switch off. So I have him do that. And then I try to make him actually do the downward dog. And he says like, he really like, like he super feels that. And I'm like, yeah, dude, like downward. Yeah. Dog is being active thing. in downward dog is very, very <laughs> um, hard. Yeah. Like I st mine's not good still. <laughs> it's going to take a long time for it to get into that V shape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like yoga is like interesting because it's like um it's you you have to have the flexibility and obviously when you practice it you build the flexibility but then also mm -hmm. like when you actually have like it's also a lot of strength right like when you're in downward dog even if you're not flexible enough to get into the like the pose like how it's a post quote unquote supposed to be like you still have to like, it's still like a shoulder press you're basically yeah, like, you still have to hold yourself your up down. Yeah, and not fall on your face. <laughs> you have to try not to die. Is basically mm -hmm. what's happening. Yeah, yeah. That's why. Uh, also, like when I first started, I was scared of just breaking bones. I guess <laughs> getting into <laughs> weird positions. <laughs> but when I first started out, I figured like, if it's not gonna, if, if it's not something I like, I'm not gonna attempt to do it. <laughs> yeah. Plus, if I'm in an instructor, if I'm in a class, the instructor will let me know like, hey, don't do that. That's dangerous. <laughs> or at least I, I hope they would do that. Yeah, they usually like they usually do. Like most mm -hmm. do. Like even teacher in my in my experience, even teachers who don't correct a lot of form, they'll definitely correct your form if like you're doing something wrong or they if think bad, you're gonna yeah. hurt yourself. They're gonna be like, they'll like walk, they'll walk like jet like calmly but quickly to someone. You know what I mean? They'll be like, mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Um, so yeah. So yeah, after that first uh, session in June, I don't think I went back to yoga after that <laughs> for a couple of weeks. For a couple of weeks. Cause I was just like, everything's sore. Like I don't like this feeling. <laughs> but um eventually I just kind of stuck with it because she was trying to get me to go every week, at least once mm -hmm. a week. That that was that was good for me. Mm -hmm. I was um doing kickboxing maybe twice a week at that mm -hmm. point. So yoga was actually helping with my kickboxing. So um I do cardio kickboxing where it's just like a line of bags and everyone's just hitting a bag. And um, once I started doing yoga more frequently, I noticed like my punches and my kicks feel a lot better. Like um, they feel stronger. They feel like they're just hitting a lot better. Do you feel like it's because like, you can just like move through the hit, the movement more? You know what I mean? Like, do you think it's because you can follow through more? I think so. And also because after kickboxing i didn't really stretch either so oh. <laughs> like i was gaining strength but i wasn't getting any flexibility so like i guess doing like punches just didn't, was i don't know would not just didn't feel as good yeah so like um when you work out right like you're contracting muscles like when we flex and stuff like your muscles are literally contracting uh, when we use them and so contracting means the muscles are shortening and you're supposed to stretch after you work out because you want to re-lengthen the muscles back to the original state. It's not even mm -hmm. necessarily about building flexibility. Like half of it is about like, hey, I need to keep the flexibility I have because you keep working out and not stretching. That means the muscle is contracting and contra contracting and contracting. And yes, it will release a little, like it will like try to go back. But over the time, like if you keep building and not stretching it out, like that's why some people are like, they look like this. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because like they've built so much muscle without putting their like lengthening their muscles back to normal that they are stuck like this because everything oh. is like hyper contracted like it's already contracted. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, that was for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> that was for everybody. I used to be a personal trainer. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, I mean, what else did yoga do for you? Um, it just taught me how to stretch. Like I just didn't really know how to stretch. The 31 years of my life being on this planet, I I was just kind of like you know when people are doing stretching, I'm just kind of I'm kind of just hanging out there, just like I look like I'm doing the thing. That's good enough, right? <laughs> <laughs> but actively being in the stretch, like actually feeling it, like is completely different than actually just kind of doing it. Like, do you ever like you know when you're like doing yoga do you ever think about like when we were like in high school or like middle oh, school oh yeah i we think back all the there. times when i was stretching i was not and stretching you're like, yeah you're, you're just like i don't think i was actually doing anything no that didn't benefit anything really i wasn't sure what we what i was doing to help that's what i think about that's literally what i think about sometimes where it's just like now i know what i'm supposed to be feeling 
and where the stretch mm -hmm. is supposed to be. And before I'm just like, what the, like, what was I doing? Like, so, like I was just like, what? Like just, just bending over, you know what I mean? And just yeah, like, I agree. no, nope, I can't touch my toes. <laughs> oh, that's good. Now I can touch my toes. <laughs> oh, nice. I was how long not able did to do that before yoga. How long did it take you? Do you know? Um, Not that long, but now I can put my palm on my feet. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. Yeah, good job. Yeah. Good job, good job. Can you sit up straight with your legs in front of you? What do you mean? Not not, not right now, like, um, you know, oh, like, 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 like a straight. pike. Yeah, yeah. 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 I can do that now, too. I've, nice. I'm, I was not able to do that before. <laughs> okay, question. Mm -hmm. um, yes. What is your experience, like, actually, like, being a man and taking yoga? Like, is there a lot um, of men where you take yoga or is there not? It varies, but no, mostly women. Um, as a man taking yoga, I don't feel it that weird. I think because I was already doing kickboxing, so I was already, I felt comfortable. Yeah, you were just like prepped for um, group class. Mm -hmm. Also, it helped me because my friend went with me to go to get to yoga. So like, um, it, it was just it was just helpful to have a friend in in class. For sure, I think when people, um, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, just going along, I I, I can be kind of scary, mm -hmm. <laughs> especially if you don't know what you're doing at the first, like at all. Yes, <laughs> you're just like. Mm -hmm. Um. I, I'm asking because I think usually, like a lot of guys, when they ask them about yoga, like unless they're dancers, like they're just like, okay, mm -hmm. no, no, thank you. And I'm just like, I guess you could say it was like, stretching. I thought it was emasculating at first. <laughs> Are you there? But yeah. Yeah, I guess so. But I got over that pretty quickly. Mm, because why? It, like, because it felt good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yoga felt awesome. <laughs> you're like, yes, like, my body. Yes. Um, I was over winter, like during the last two weeks of December, I mm. was going to this yoga studio, this hot yoga studio nearby. And I thought it was really interesting because there were always at least three guys in each class, like, which is, you know, it's still like out of like 15 or more. But like, I was just like, oh, like I was like pleasantly surprised, like, because there'd always be at least three, like sometimes there'd be like five or eight. And I was like, whoa, like, cause most, I feel like most guys like, yeah, like they find it like emasculating or they don't really understand it. Cause it's like stretching. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm glad you got over it and I'm glad yeah, like it's benefiting you. Yeah. Learning how my body feels doing certain motions like is very important too. Cause I didn't really care about any of that before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I actually, I feel like um, when you're older, like, again, we're both, like, in our 30s. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like as you get older, you start to feel your body, like, starting to become more decrepit. Yeah, it's, it's getting worn <laughs> out a little bit. <laughs> Things need a little working on. <laughs> yeah, and so I feel like stuff like yoga is actually really freaking nice. Yeah, I'm feeling, like, younger, I guess, with yoga. <laughs> I'm feeling Do you? more active. Do you yeah. feel limber? <laughs> I do. I do feel limber. <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like it could be letting go of control. Like in a, mm -hmm. like letting go of control, like just like going with the flow, I'm assuming is what you mean. If not, then clarify, Adrian. Um, but yeah, like it's so funny, like getting older and then like being like, no, like I need stuff like this. Like I actually need to stretch all the time now. Yeah, like this is very important. <laughs> yeah. Like I need to be doing this. Yeah. And like, oh my gosh, I remember one time we were at the gym. This was like mm -hmm. uh, two years ago, a year, year and a half, two. Oh my gosh. Um, Like Joey and I were at 24 Hour Fitness and then he just felt like, he was just like, oh, like my, he's like, I just hurt. Like my back hurts. And I'm just like, After okay. He's like, I no, we didn't work out yet. He's like, I just feel so. Oh, you just stiff. got there. Yeah, and I was like, I feel like you should warm up, mm -hmm. like do some like arm swings and stuff. And then when he realized that the answer was that, he was so mm -hmm. freaking sad. He was like, I yeah, never because... to warm up, like have to warm up, but now I do. Yeah, exactly. So if you feel like my body's been good this whole time, it's like. No, your body was just dealing with it this whole time. <laughs> and now it's caught up to you. 
Yeah, your body was like young enough to heal quick enough for you not to feel anything, and now it is not <laughs> like <Yeah. laughs> not that young. Mm -hmm. uh, the feeling of the feeling of surrendering. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, I do like uh, having instructors telling me what to do. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it's nice. That's very helpful because. Uh, I don't have the self-discipline to do it on my own still. <laughs> yeah. I feel like. I actually Some feel days like... I do, but like um, having having these yoga classes actually helps me to do yoga because I'm actually going there. Someone's telling me what to do and I physically went somewhere <laughs> to do something. Yeah. I definitely feel like taking like classes like that, like group classes for anything, yoga or mm -hmm. anything, like it's so much more helpful because like you will do it because you are there and someone can see if you're not doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Be like, awkward if we were in a yoga class not doing anything and the instructor's just like are you okay because you know like the first thing they'll think is like are you going to pass out <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah i'm very fortunate i was able to find a studio like five to ten minutes away from me nice it's like yeah. really close yes when things are close it's the best it's quite my favorite like if oh. i had to drive like 20 minutes away to go to it i don't think i would be doing yoga still <laughs> no no I mean, yeah, no, realistically, mm -hmm. like for most people, like proximity and like ease is like, it means a lot. It creates yeah. such a difference. Like I used to go to this ballet class near me, you know, before coronavirus, because mm -hmm. it was like less than five minutes away. So I'm like, I can't not go. <laughs> it's right there. Like I exactly. can't be like that much of a shit ass that I'm not going to go. <laughs> That's how I feel too. It's like, there's really no good excuse to not go <laughs> i have plenty of excuse i can give plenty of reasons to not go yeah. i'm tired i'm hungry uh <laughs> i don't feel like it <laughs> right like i just want to work mm -hmm. like, i just came it. back from work i don't you know i don't need to be active <laughs> oh so, so you, you were doing this challenge right last time oh I yeah saw so you. so um I was kind of just doing yoga here and there um, up until January of this year. Once I started this yoga challenge from our yoga, from our studio, they um, basically offered like a free month of yoga, some yoga mats, and um, a shirt if you do all these um, particular challenges, like showing up like twice in one day or going three times in a day or three times in a, um, in a row. Um, some of the challenges were social media posts. I'm not a very social conscious person. <laughs> like I don't have... <laughs> I don't social really do conscious, Facebook. social media. I, you social media conscious. I don't like I, I got an Instagram just so I can post <laughs> so I can complete the challenge. <laughs> and now I'm finding it's pretty addicting. <laughs> I, like, I, like, find it Sometimes when I'm on Instagram, I'm just like scrolling through, I'm like, damn, like two hours pass by. <laughs> it is very addicting. Yes. Welcome but to so this challenge was um encouraged me to go pretty much almost every day. So like um, maybe the first week I kind of just went like I was going to yoga bef before this, maybe twice, twice a week. Mm -hmm. And then once this challenge started, I was going maybe five to seven times a week. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. So I kind of just pushed myself to go like it didn't because um, there was a class at like 530 and mm -hmm. there's another class at 645 and I got off at work at five. So pretty much I was just like, I can go every day <laughs> if I need, if I can. Mm -hmm. And then eventually I was just like, you should just go. You should just do this. And then, um, yeah, every, like the beginning of January, I was just going every couple of days. And then um, I think by the end of January, I was going every day. I was going maybe tw sometimes going twice, going to both classes. Okay, because uh my body allowed that. <laughs> like. I didn't feel like my body was breaking down. Like it was, I was not feeling sore because of it because I was stretching. Like, mm. um, it was actually really fast, really interesting to me because, like, because uh, my body's never been able to be this flexible, it was never this active before. Mm -hmm. But um, pushing myself to do this every day truly just like improved my health. <laughs> yeah, good. But really improved my overall fitness. Yeah. And made me realize, like, yeah, I am stronger than I think I am. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. So is that, okay, uh, honest, was that like your biggest like deciding factor in like going all the time or did you want the stuff? What do you mean? <laughs> like, did you want the what? prizes? Um, 
No, because after the uh, after the challenge ended, I was still going every day. Oh, nice, nice. nice. I guess the stuff the stuff was a good incentive. But You're a um, better man just... than me, Charlie Brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny because there was another guy that I was challenging or that I was um, competing with, but he also got he tied with me in first place, and oh. he stopped going <laughs> <laughs> once the challenges were done. No, oh, Richard's is hot. Oh, hey, Richard. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so you stayed because, you know, this actually like worked its way into your life and you liked it. And the yes. other guy. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I can't so judge the other guy. But no, I, I can't judge the other guy either. No, that guy was going almost every day as well. Yeah, I think I just would be more like the other guy if I was going to mm -hmm. be honest. I'd be like, like, yeah, I'm done. I did, I did this. I did okay, bye. <laughs> and, I was, and I was just like, mm, I can keep doing this though. So why not? I, like I said, I had no good reason to stop. <laughs> I had plenty of bad reasons. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm hungry. Screw it was really it. tough though at first because I was just like, like it, like this, like yeah, I was just in my head like I, I would be like, I'm tired, I'm hungry, or like I didn't get enough sleep last night, or I had a rough day at work. Mm -hmm. But um, actually, the rough day at work, uh, yoga was um, very uh, helpful for me because it would help me unwind throughout the day because I don't have uh -huh. to think about anything but just my yoga practice. Yeah worrying about myself and my own body and um any outside um influence is not not with me at that moment i love like yoga classes like especially when they're physically demanding or like any like class that's physically physically demanding i like because it makes me do that because i literally mm -hmm. cannot think about anything else but also like, helps when the instructor is just telling us like you know let go of your day you know, just think about mm -hmm. what's right here yeah, my instructors were very helpful with that. They're That's very, good. very, they were very good positive influence on the practice. So, do you feel like it's also like part meditative for you? Yes, definitely. Do you practice? Do you do like? Do they do um, breathing techniques with you guys? Um, not really techniques, but they encourage like you know to breathe at certain times, like take mm -hmm. deep breaths, and um, they encourage to do like um, what's that called? Communal breathing, where everyone's breathing at the same time. Mm -hmm. do you um i didn't i never did this i can't and I, i'm sorry i cannot remember like the name of it but you know like did you do the breathing with the group where like you, you know you sit in whatever position and then you just like do the breathing like <gasps> like a crap ton of time <laughs> it's like yeah. we're gonna breathe yeah. 66 times together yeah we're like Ready? an all child pose no. and then we're gonna breathe for like three four minutes yeah mm -hmm. did you do it with the rhythm um what do you mean like like there was like a drum yeah well like no like well one of the instructors was just like we're just gonna find it together and breathe together like we were just like <gasps> and somewhat for the beginner class that i took he clapped so that we can stay together hmm. and i was like no oh, nothing weird. like that but we just kind of he just encouraged us to do it all at the same time and we just kind mm -hmm. of did it <laughs> yeah do you find yourself like breathing more in like the rest of your life now that I have not noticed. Mm. I mean, I, I'm I'm wondering because like a lot of people say that it doesn't happen for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm just wondering if it happens for you because it's just well, like no, uh, not not that I've noticed. <laughs> not for me. I definitely have to will myself. Like I'm not like, oh yeah, like remember breathing is nice. I'm just like, yeah, I don't, tricky, I, like, I don't think breathe. that goes outside <laughs> of, of yoga for me. <laughs> And I'm like, oh god, mm -hmm. I'm not breathing. I guess if I'm trying to do yoga at home, then I'll be doing that. But like otherwise, any other aspect of my life, I'm just breathing normally. <laughs> so how is it now since you know like coronavirus? And oh, it's been bad because I've been lazy. <laughs> <laughs> like my my studio has encouraged they do they do live Instagram um sessions too. Like I can go back and do it because it's available for 24 hours, but I just haven't been doing it. Um yeah, I need to be better at it. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Well, mm -hmm. we could technically do those lives together, couldn't we? What, do a live yoga session? Well, because they're like, is it on their IG? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think you need to be a member, maybe? Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> <I'm not gonna laughs> Possibly. <laughs> I'll let you know. Oh, I haven't, I have, like I said, I've been bad at it. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't done, done that in a while. Well, that's hard. Like, honestly, like, 
finding any semblance of like normalcy like in coronavirus time like in quarantine time like it's super difficult i've been trying to stay fit with my ring fit adventure <laughs> for my switch oh um i think one of my roommate has that like the thing right like yeah it's a squeeze yeah you squeeze yeah. and you pull and it's a it's, yeah they just updated it so there's like a rhythm game to it. Yeah, I saw him playing it, mm -hmm. and then like you have to move it to the side. Yes, very, very fun and, and very it's like tiring. Spot. Yeah, yeah. Especially the ab workout stuff. Oh, I haven't seen him do that. I want to see that. Yeah, you should tell him to do ab or core and leg workouts. <laughs> mm. Okay, so before before this started, and I saw you. When did I see you? Like in February. Saw you like last half of February. Well, last right. year? No, I'm talking oh, about like the, this year. Oh, for the wedding. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. When I saw you for the wedding, um, you actually led me through a class. I know. I'm just why I'm like I'm capable of doing it. I just haven't done it. <laughs> yeah. Would you ever want to like pursue it? Like actually teaching it? Mm, no, probably not. You're so good at it. I mean, you don't have to. It's totally fine. I just wonder. Well, I was going every day, so it was just like I had that fresh in my mind, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, right? Because the flows stay with you. The flows yeah. definitely stay into your mind. So, um, well, so what are you going to do then, huh, Reese? How are you going to get Anything? back into this yoga -ness? Um, I just need to start doing it. <laughs> Tell me, tell me, and I would join you, um, except for I really don't want to pay for the membership. <laughs> no, I think um, my friend and I are going to start up doing yoga again because she has not been doing it <laughs> as much. Gonna so I think we're going to start. We're going to, yeah, we're going to do um, Zoom, Zoom yogas. Yes. It's a new thing everyone's using, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a new thing everyone's using. I don't know why people happened. don't use, like. Discord. Well, <laughs> Discord looked fine for me. <laughs> Not everyone has Discord. Discord's such a gamer thing, that's why. Not everyone knows that Discord exists. <laughs> I, I didn't know I what Zoom that Zoom existed until like this uh -oh. month. I knew it existed, but I knew it like that people use it for like conference calls and meetings and stuff. But also I was like, I I just use Skype, but I guess Zoom is more dependable. I don't know. <laughs> Skype missed out. Apparently it wasn't so great. So it's not like the main thing like it could have been. <laughs> I felt like it was just Skype for a long time. And then competitors came out and Skype did not want to compete with them. I mean, I don't know. Like, you I know, no when, I, when, I was, <laughs> when I was doing Skype for Twitch, like when I would stream with Jasmine and stuff, like mm -hmm. it was so weird because like they fixed or not they fixed, I guess like they upgrade their technology, but then I would have her on Skype and then her window would just randomly like shrink and grow. And I was like, what? It was to keep your attention. It was super annoying because I'd have to move her around and be like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. But yeah, apparently Zoom's working out really well for everyone. So there's that. And now, Seems yeah. For mine. I've been everyone. taking um, my kickboxing class with Zoom. Mm. Everyone's just with Zoom. It's okay. It's not a bad thing. Not at all. Um, oh, this is what I wanted to say. So like also with like yoga, like it's, it's, it's easy to pay attention to it. Cause I don't know about you, but like a lot of the time, like when we do certain poses, like hip openers, mm -hmm. like I just have to breathe cause it's so uncomfortable. Oh yeah. I had to get over um, breathing weird. <laughs> or, like sounding weird when I'm like, just like, I'm like, when I'm like struggling through a pose. <laughs> You're I kind of just, like, just don't care anymore. I will just be like, oh, I will breathe like hard or heavy and just like, I don't mind. <laughs> That's, I'm not making the weirdest sounds. <laughs> I've heard hard. people, there are people will like, sometimes will, people will moan in class because <laughs> the stretch feels really good. Oh my God. I'm not mature enough for that. Yeah. I'm, I'm just like, enough. I'd just be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just like, help me. Well, actually, the first yoga class I took a long time ago when I was in high school, and it was with mm. Jenny. Oh, really? <laughs> it was like it was this weird like program where it's like we can try out things. So I was like, let's just try out yoga. And there was, and it wasn't this girl that was moaning, but like we were doing like a side 
plague. I, it wasn't even Ooh. side plague. So basically, you know how you are like an us, like an X when you do a jumping jack. Yeah. Right. We were basically balancing like in the jumping jack pose, but with one hand and one foot. And we were just mm -hmm. balancing there. And Jenny and I were doing it, but then this girl in front of us, and she was like a teenager too. She was just like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> like, and that's what she sounded like. And just I feel like she's doing, doing it. it for attention. <laughs> she's just like, whoa, whoa. And I mean, her body was like, whoa. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, crap. And so Jenny and I were laughing, and then Jenny fell over. So I fell over because, like, <laughs> it's really difficult. Like, I, like, how, oh, come on. And like, but you know, of course, we were the only ones in class laughing. But I was just like, mm -hmm. "Come on, man! Like, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do with that. Like, of course, I'm going to be laughing. <laughs> like, this is fair. really strange. <laughs> yeah, this isn't fair. <laughs> but yeah, that yeah, was I'm, really funny. I've had like, um, yeah, people with moaning class. Like, I, I know those people were like, they're like instructors too. <laughs> mm. So they're just like, I don't know, they're just. I guess that's how they, they express th themselves. I don't know. Well, they basically don't give a fuck. Oh, that's <laughs> true. Yeah, like, they don't care. They're just like, this is how I do my pose. <laughs> yeah. Do everyone else deal with this? <laughs> <laughs> basically, that's what it is. It's just like you just deal with it. And I'm just like, I'm going to try my best. But yeah. I, um, I think just getting over being uncomfortable in a class setting like that was a little bit of a challenge like i was uncomfortable being sweaty in class <laughs> it's like a weird uh, thing right? like we're doing something physical but like i don't like feeling gross oh, yeah. but like it took me a couple i guess a couple of weeks to get over that same in kickboxing too um i just didn't feel i didn't like feeling gross <laughs> yeah but now i'm fine i'm fine with being super sweaty i'll be dressed in sweat i'll be i'll be i'll, I'll be fine it's also so hard in the beginning when you start any sort of new physical activity because you're mm -hmm. so inefficient that your body is just working like too hard because mm -hmm. you don't know what the hell you're doing. So you're really not breathing. You're like over clenching everything and you're just trying to like live and like survive. But because you're like trying so hard, like you're just like, sweating profusely. Because you're just like, too, like <laughs> finding a towel to wipe myself with or like <laughs> finding good shorts. I didn't have a lot of shorts because I don't do a lot of active things. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a weird challenge. <laughs> I don't have like a lot of basketball shorts or anything or fitness shorts. <laughs> Did you end up buying more fitness shorts? Uh, a couple. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just buy more basketball shorts? Yeah, just more basketball shorts like target or something like loose basketball shorts no i don't know that loose <laughs> i don't know <laughs> but yeah weird logistics was that that was like a weird challenge too <laughs> or like getting water like like i had to fill in water for my water bottle <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny but i don't know once i got into routine it was fine <laughs> mm. oh Adrian makes a point like because to usually sweating is associated with struggling that's yeah. true so like you're like you're struggling especially when you're new like it's super exacerbated super pronounced by your sweating so mm -hmm. it's like i'm struggling here's proof that i'm yeah. struggling i don't like i don't like living in this this struggling world <laughs> i must get out of it by stopping it but i don't know just eventually i had to get used to that <laughs> It's over it. Yeah. Cause the mm -hmm. thing is like, once you push past it, it will be fine, but you definitely have to stay long enough to push past it. Cause mm -hmm. it's like, it, like, like, honestly, like I honestly think stretching for people can be way more uncomfortable than working out because I think, because like, you know, like when you're stretching and stuff, you think like, Oh, I'm just stretching. Right. Like we're opposed, like if you're working out, like it's like, yeah, like this is supposed to be hard. I'm working out, but stretching, like it's like, no, actually stretching is really yeah, hard. Also, also with stretching, I don't know if I'm getting better at it. <laughs> After a couple of weeks, I was just like, I'm not much flexible until actually it, it wasn't until I, like this year when I started going almost every day. Mm -hmm. Like I was starting to see market improvements, uh, like overall by my, my whole body. Yeah, dude, when so, you like put yourself into that consistently, like, oh my God, like it's, it, you feel it. 
Mm-hmm. Like you end up feeling it like a lot and you're just like, oh, I am stronger. Like, even if you don't like necessarily look fitter in the mirror all the time, but like, you'll be like, oh crap, like I'm, I'm stronger. Like this doesn't feel oh, yeah. as hard anymore. I feel like my body doesn't look any different <laughs> doing yoga. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel a lot stronger. I feel more flexible, but I don't, nothing's changed here. <laughs> <laughs> I have like my belly and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a different thing. Mm-hmm. Ironically, I've been stretching in my own yoga this whole time. Nice, yeah. nice. But I feel stronger because of it, though, because of yoga. Yeah, <laughs> definitely oh my feel gosh. a lot stronger. Yes, like especially like shoulders, right? Because every mm-hmm. time you're like in downward dog or like chaturanga, where you lower to like a push up, like and it's a tricep push up, not like a wide arm. Man, mm-hmm. I was doing this, so I had to actually stop because I think it was hurting me. So like I, I only do this every other day, but when I first started quarantine, I was like, I'm going to practice. I'm going to do this backbend series. And it was like by this lady and it was like an hour and stuff. And I was like, okay. And then I hurt myself because I was like, I think this is too advanced (laughs) or like Mm -hmm. not like, and I could do everything. Like the thing is I could do everything. So I was doing everything. Maybe it wasn't too, well, maybe it was too advanced, but also maybe like, because I hadn't been doing like hour long things of yoga in a while. You should like, just kind of jump into it. Yeah, I was just like, mm, screw it. I have mm-hmm. nothing to do. <laughs> like, and I did so many, like what I think happened is like, I just did so many chaturangas and did so many like flexibility things that my, like my body got fatigued, but I knew I could push through it. So I did, which was the wrong answer. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. It's unfortunate. <laughs> I just like have this weird thing in my shoulder like that like keeps appearing now and I don't know what to do and I can't get a massage or anything because I ain't going outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. It? Does that help? <laughs> I try. Like it's because it, it's underneath my shoulder blade. So it's like in this really tricky place. And I have like one of those acupuncture canes too. But like mm. I need someone to like do this underneath and like most people are just, not comfortable with that. Adrian, you're doing a hundred push-ups. <laughs> yep, and then were, his arms hated him. <laughs> were you trying to do the One Punch Man uh, four times? <laughs> <laughs> right. Like a hundred push-ups every day, hundred or something. Like yeah, right. hundred push-ups, hundred squats, hundred like, like lunge. Ten ten k. <laughs> It was just funny because like, all feasible time, things. Yeah, every time in one punch man, he tells them, and you're just like, "You're such a liar." He's like, "That's basic calisthenics," and you're just like, "That's what I did." <laughs> you're like, "Okay, fourth, dude, that's a pretty intense thirty day challenge." Ooh, I need to do more stuff like that though. But now, now, like, I do like yoga. Like, mm-hmm. I've calmed down a little because my um shoulder got really weird, but I'm gonna get back into it like more in the morning after i do like my dance class so yeah yeah i've 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 done that in the past where i just go too hard at a workout and then just i'm out for like a month (laughs) (laughs) i used to i used to run a lot and like um i remember um because at at some point i was able to do like a 6k i was just or uh, was six no 10k i was able to run 10ks like just fine and like I remember, I didn't go for a I didn't I didn't run for a long time and I started I tried to go again and I just ran for like I don't know how long and I just was out I was just my legs were dead <laughs> I don't know when was the last time I went running either so it's been a while God every time like okay so I don't run anymore but when we mm. used to run when we were younger when we tried to work out with each other and stuff. You always had the easiest time running. Well, in comparison, maybe in comparison, you would just like run and you'd just be like, okay. And I'm just like, I'm dying. (laughs) I'm dying so much. And Reese is just going. (laughs) Long legs. (laughs) I guess so. My legs are pretty short. But also, I just don't think I was meant to run. And now I really can't run because my knee is like, there's like a deep burn. If I run on concrete. I found other cardio activities <laughs> that are more enjoyable than running. Yeah. Oh my God, Adrian, I love running, but running does not. I'm assuming that's supposed to say doesn't love me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, asthma. Yeah. 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 Like, 
running is hard. Running is mm -hmm. so hard. Yeah. It's hard starting out. <laughs> no, it's just difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do with my yoga packs right now, though, is I'm just trying to build the flexibility in my back because why not? It's just like, I got 10. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like yoga for me, I can't go hard at it because I don't want to overstretch something or like break something. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, definitely. I'm very like, because it's so easy or at least it's the easier for me because, anything. like, because, you know, like I dance. So I have like a little more flexibility than like the normal person, the non-dancer. Mm -hmm. And so like sometimes I'm like, oh, oh, I can keep going. And then like I'll reach up oh, and I'll be like, oh, I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> And so, like, I try to be, like, very careful now because now I'm old. So, like, you know, if I do that and I, I'm i not going to recover as fast. I'm not young. I'm not young no, anymore. No, we're not young anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> damage stays permanent now. <laughs> yep. The damage is permanent now. <laughs> Eight miles. That's a oh lot. My God. Oh, good job. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mine is, like. Not running. I will only run for like emergencies. <laughs> for emergencies. <laughs> or like, you know, something like important is happening and I need to run. I will run. Mm -hmm. but, like, like a giant boulder coming towards you. <laughs> yes. Yes. If I was Indiana Jones, I would just run. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I would run. I will just run and it will be totally fine. <laughs> um Back to yoga. <laughs> yes. Miss, okay. What are, did you have any misconceptions about yoga that like, you know, that you realized were misconceptions? I guess that you had to be flexible to do it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I was not. Like you would learn, you'll learn to, to become flexible. You learn within your own limits. Like you can't do this because you physically can't. <laughs> you can't copy the instructor because you your, your body doesn't go that way. <laughs> Uh, um, it's a very stark reality of like what your limits are when you're in yeah. yoga class. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I was doing um for this for the back bend series, it's like a chin stand. She was doing a chin stand. She's like, okay, ready? We're gonna go mm -hmm. into our chin stand. And I was like, what? <laughs> what mm -hmm. are we doing? And like to be honest, like I don't think it was like a good like segue like i i feel like we were stretching and stuff and all of a sudden it's like let's do this thing that's hella hard and i was like okay and i couldn't do it so basically like you're like here in chaturanga but like you are balancing between your hand and your chin and your feet are up in the air wow and i was like what the hell <laughs> i like tried it and the most i could get was like i was like balancing on my mouth and i was like i this is wrong this is wrong this was a beginning class? No, or like, what oh, no, is this? This, is like, this is like the yoga thing that I told you, like, I can't do every day because it was mm -hmm. just like too much. Um, so, yeah, I was just like, holy crap. Um, ironically, though, dance requires so much cardio. No, it depends, actually, because dance is technically anaerobic. It's not aerobic because we stop so much. Unless you did like a cardio dance class where they don't stop. But dance is technically anaerobic. It's not technically cardio. Unless like you keep go. you have to keep going. So like a ballet bar um, where you like start and stop because they you keep learn the exercise and you go again, like you're, it's not, it's no longer cardio. If you stop moving, it's no longer cardio. So yeah. Um, oh yeah. yeah. Um, so the, yeah, being flexible, you don't have to be flexible. They have um, straps and they have these yoga blocks, which will help you reach the floor or stretch out better. Like they, they have, um, there's always modifications you can do to get into the pose. Yeah. Like no matter how hard the pose looks, like there's a way to get into it. Yeah, there's like a step before, which is nice. Mm -hmm. There's always, always a step have before. a yeah. There's like poses that you're supposed to build on, and then you you'll get to this one eventual like really hard pose. Mm -hmm. Like we'll be working on the muscles they'll help to get into that pose. I honestly think blocks are like the best thing ever. Yes. Like blocks I've... are so freaking helpful. Like if you have never taken yoga, get the blocks. Get the blocks and get the straps. But mm -hmm. most of all, these. get the blocks. <laughs> yeah, I have pink blocks. I told totally, I totally bought it at Walmart, I think. Oh no, TJ Maxx. <laughs> oh I got mine at TJ Maxx too. Mm -hmm. I got yeah. that and the strap. <laughs> Straps yeah. up with stretching. Yeah. It it just helps so much because like 
when you can't put your hand on the floor for certain things like triangle or like Mm-hmm. Like yeah, like things like triangle, bend. like just it, doing yeah, a it's, normal it's, bending over. It freaking hurts. Like when you can't do it, and then you're like you're struggling mm-hmm. so much, and it's like oh, I just need this block, and then you can build your flexibility from there, and you're like oh, okay, I don't feel like yeah. dying anymore. Once you're able to like move more of your gravity on that block, <laughs> yeah, it helps. <laughs> it helps a lot, and then eventually you do it without a block, and then you can touch the floor, and then that feels amazing. Once you have you don't have the block to to help you, yeah. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's super true. Like, it feels like it feels super like accomplishing. Like, just be like, oh, I moved that much. Like, yeah, I it was actually like, fun. Oh, like, um, at the beginning of class, I will always grab two blocks and a strap. And then, uh, maybe last month when I was going, I was just like, eh, I could just get a scrap. You know, I don't need these blocks. <laughs> I always have blocks, I love blocks. Mm-hmm. Also, my Very arms are though. short. My arms are short. So, like, blocks for mm-hmm. certain things, like, help me. Because it's, like, I could technically not use my hand. But even, like, simple things, like, you know, when you, like, cross your legs over and then you just, like, twist and look to the back. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, you're just doing, yeah, like, Yeah, they'll help. You can twist. pop it off on your back, right? Yeah. I, like, I actually put my back hand on the block so I can sit up straighter. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah. like, my arms are so short. Like, they don't touch the floor. And then I end up like doing like the claw thing where you're like kind of clawing the floor, but it's super uncomfortable. And I'm like, I should just put a block there and then I can actually like sit up taller and twist. Duh. Yeah. I should. Um, do, you, do you like doing a pigeon pose? Do I like doing it? No. Do mm-hmm. I do it a lot? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do you use a block when you do it? Um, not under my leg unless I'm mm-hmm. trying to make my front like an actual like. You oh, know, okay. like flat in front of me. Yeah, because I was not using the block with Pigeon for a while, and it helps a lot for me. Yeah, like, I don't technically, like, unless I want to do that with my, like, my legs straight, like, I don't need it. But, like, my hips aren't open, so keeping, like, you know, like, my actual tibia and fibia, like, straight in front of me, like, it's actually very difficult. Like, I'm very high up if I want to do that, because my hips aren't open. I have the hips of a man. <laughs> basically what's happening. <laughs> Like a a not flexible man are like my hips, and that's how I would describe them. Yeah, it is unfortunate, but it's also very true. My hips are not flexible; they are not open. I do not have like child rearing hips. So, sounds like my hips. Yeah, man, I man wish mine hips. were more flexible. I can kick a lot higher. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Any other misconceptions? Um, that I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, yoga has reinforced how important core is, though. <laughs> core <laughs> is so important. That's why they call it core. <laughs> because a lot of the poses that? need so much of your core. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wouldn't think, like, just standing needs your core. <laughs> yeah, because any sort of balance, like, even, mm-hmm. like, a two-foot balance, like, it's, it's core stability. Yeah. Like, if you don't engage your core, you cannot balance. <laughs> It's like, that's not a thing. (laughs) So I'm always welcoming any core exercises (laughs) that we do in yoga class. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, like one of my favorite ab exercises is plank to downward dog. Mm, Okay. Like that is one of my favorite ones only because it's just like, you know, like you get relief from your plank, but like even with your downward dog, you're still doing strength because you're using your shoulders to push. So I really like that one. Like I like I like just going like plank, downward dog, plank, downward dog, and back and forth. I like forth. that too. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking boat pose just because you're not doing anything. <laughs> oh god, no. You're just kind of like concentrating on staying in that. <laughs> I, don't want to do, I don't want to do boat pose. I don't want that. <laughs> but yeah. It's true. Yoga requires a lot of course, especially when you're like warrior three and you're like, I'm going over everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, here I go. Or even tree pose. I'm just like, you want to lean uh, a certain way or back or forth. Yeah. Like actually finding like your through line <laughs> from like your foot to the top of your head. Like, mm-hmm. like it's not, it's not as simple because it's not like, I mean, it's somewhat intuitive because obviously if you like go to one foot, you're going to lean, but it's like, but finding like the center through like your inner thigh and your core and stuff, that's not intuitive. Leaning is intuitive. 
finding your course so that you're stable is not in tune. Like aligning your core, I guess, because you're still going to grip if you lean, but like aligning your core is not technically, or I don't think it's intuitive. So yeah, that's a pretty good one. Yeah. Core is super important. Anything else? Anything else? Um, Shavasana used to be really hard for me. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, because I couldn't, um, I couldn't sit still. Like uh, the first time was just um, sitting still for like 10 minutes, not you're not supposed to do anything. You're not supposed to think about anything. It was hard for me. Like I would just fidget and just I would just think about whatever. My mind would just wander a lot. Yeah. But uh, now I, I don't know. I like it. That's good. I mean, able to just concentrate and just let go. Just focus on healing my body. I guess. <laughs> That's good. I still suck mm -hmm. at shavasana. I'm not good at shavasana, and I don't like it. Like, mm -mm. like it. My, my so like, I try to think about what what things we just worked on. So like I try to be grateful for that. Try to be thankful that I'm able to do these things. Mm -hmm. Very, very true. Very true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's all a practice and it all takes time. Mm -hmm. Like, and it's like, it is very like, oh my gosh. Hmm? I'm trying to highlight this for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> i do actually i really do though like i love like the the whole like namaste thing like i do love that because i like love the intention behind it like you know like the light in you i don't remember what it translates to perfectly but it's like, basically like the light in you like acknowledges and like sees the light in me or the light in me acknowledges yeah, the light in me. The light in you. yes that's as it is <laughs> go backwards um yeah but that's like one of my favorite things because like that's the nice thing about yoga it's like yeah it's this it's an exercise it is a form of exercise but it's like a form of like meditation and like self-awareness and mm -hmm. like acknowledging like other people's awareness and so i don't know i just really like that that's actually like one of my favorite parts is literally yeah i like that too too. like um all the positive affirmations that instructors give is very nice um different instructors have different teaching styles so they have different kinds of positive affirmations mm -hmm. um one of the instructors was really nice so when we were doing pigeon pose she would just read really positive poems oh that's nice i like mm -hmm. when they read poems yeah and we're uh, we're in pigeon pose so it's usually a pose that we're in for a long time yeah yeah i i, I really appreciate stuff like that because it really takes your mind off of like you know the discomfort that you may mm -hmm. be feeling in your body and you're just like trying to listen to this poem you're like oh that's nice and i just like <laughs> they're also very positive too a lot of the stuff whenever they have bad things they usually have a uh things to say to make it not as bad <laughs> i don't know <laughs> there's, like, there's always stuff like little things like when you're shaking your head just to like stretch um they're like mm -hmm. shake your head no shake your head yes always end on a yes be stay stay on a positive <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, those mm -hmm. are really good. They're all, they're all kind of small things, but they're helpful. They are helpful. I mm -hmm. feel like that kind of stuff just, like, balances out, like, the negativity that can come from, like, the rest of your day. Like, whether it's work or, like, whatever. You're just having, like, a bad time with certain people. So mm -hmm. it's, like, a good reminder to be, like, you can be positive. Like, you, you know, like, that's there. That's Because whatever you're <laughs> dreading is going to be there after yoga anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> You might as well. Might as well take the time path. that you're there to just focus on not feeling that way. Yeah, and like balance it out because you're right. Like it's like whatever crap you had after yoga is probably gonna be there. Like or sorry, before yoga is probably gonna be there after. So you're like, okay, well then I'm gonna take this time to feel nice then. Yeah, and just kind of sucks to live in like that negativity the whole the yeah. whole day. It's true. It's true. Do you think mm -hmm. yoga has actually made you more positive then? I think it has. That's good. Do you feel more optimistic or just more like, or just less hateful? I guess. Uh, I don't know if I was hateful. <laughs> well, you I know guess, how to put it. I guess but... more optimistic, yes. Yeah. <laughs> more positive outlooks in life. <laughs> I'll strive to hate less. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know how else to phrase it. I'm like, less hateful. Less hateful. <laughs> oh, God. 
Well, that's good. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. let's wrap it up. What advice would you give to someone who's thinking about starting yoga or trying yoga out? I'd say start out on your own at first, <laughs> in your own room maybe, before you start going out to classes. See how it feels to yourself. Try not to be, um, I guess, try to be more comfortable in your own body when you're stretching. Mm. So do you mean like, go to, like be... YouTube? Yeah, or go to like YouTube. Like I don't have any good recommendations but i'm sure there's a lot of good ones there's a know. lot of yoga there's YouTube a lot of instructions out there too yeah mm -hmm. don't um don't feel bad about being a beginner i guess everyone started out somewhere yeah it's true that's very true mm -hmm. struggle with it and <laughs> be okay with struggling <laughs> <laughs> it's like a life lesson just yes. Be okay with struggling. Be okay with struggling. You'll come out of on top. Because <laughs> you're going to struggle. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be easy starting out. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> no, I can second that. It's really not easy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not easy when you first start. But it's but really But if you stick cool. with it, it's really good. Ooh, yes. This is actually a good one. Yoga with Adrian. A lot of people mm -hmm. like. Have you tried yoga with Adrian? No, who's that? So, a lot I think of you like, recommended me this. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I have before. So, Yoga Adrian, like a lot of people like her because she's really chill. Okay. Like she's like a chill person. Like it's it's um, she obviously knows her stuff and she leads you in a class, but it just seems like a normal person leading you with at yoga as opposed to not like other teachers aren't like normal, but she's she's not a. It's like your friend. It's like doing yoga with a friend. Okay. That's what it feels like, or at least to me, it feels like doing yoga with a friend, like mm -hmm. versus like I'm in a class and this is here. And I'm not saying she's not trying to be peaceful, but I guess like she's a little more quirky in that way. Like it feels more like you're doing, um, yeah, it yoga with a friend rather than like a yoga class. That's, I think that's the best I can explain that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll have to check that out. Cool. She's good for beginners. A lot of people like her, like, and I would definitely recommend her, especially if yoga is something that, like, intimidates you. Like, she's really not intimidating. Yeah. Oh, that's another thing. Don't compare yourself to other people around you. <laughs> Focus on yourself. Yes, that is good advice. Mm -hmm. there's you don't know how long they've been practicing for. Exactly. <laughs> exactly some of the people like who go to yoga class have been there like for a long mm. long 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 time also you'll find out sometimes they're instructors too <laughs> yeah they're like oh well that's why they know this stuff yeah <laughs> you're just like i feel better <laughs> mm. yeah since i was going every day like i would see sometimes some of the instructors taking classes from other instructors <laughs> mm. yeah and it makes you feel good you're just yeah. like yeah it's, like, it's like a nice little community yeah community is like a good part of it too all right is that it mm -hmm. are those your parting words of wisdom yes just try <laughs> <laughs> that's good okay well reese thank you for joining me today to talk about yoga that was thank fun you. that was super fun i hope you had a good time um for those of you at home thank you for joining us and tomorrow i'm not actually going to be streaming live on facebook live but i will be with adrian and marissa streaming on our collaborative youtube channel the Philam film collective and then for the rest of the week wednesday work week wednesday thursday friday i will be streaming here so i will see you back here on wednesday at 5 30 and we're gonna try to do let's make a scene again which went a lot better last week than the first time we did it um, again, thank you, Reese. Thank you for being with me and talking with me here for an hour. I really do hope you enjoyed your time, and I really liked listening to your yoga stories. Thanks, Rishi. I enjoyed my time here, too. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.